Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share you share with you what I have been up to. I finally found some time to craft. It feels like I haven't been able to sit down and play in my craft room in forever. You know, between work and the garden. Anyway, I found some time and I was very thankful. And I actually was making I have some vintage um, wedding gowns and I have spent some quality time deconstructing one and I made little bags out of the uh, satin material and I wanted to make like a bag a bag topper I guess <laughs> like an embellishment for the front of the bag <laughs> because I'm going to fill the uh, bags with um, appliques from the dress and with some of the uh, bridal trim uh, from the uh, dress that will be available in um, our annual um, YouTube sale that will happen here on my channel in October. Uh, just be looking for the dates. We haven't set a date yet, but I'm working, we're both working very hard to make things for the sale. So one of the things is these, um, these bridal uh, kits. So I made the bags and I wanted to uh, put something on the bag. So I made some different um, bag embellishments, I guess is what we'll call them, bag embellishments, <laughs> using some of the beautiful stuff from Angel Dream Crafts and also some of the bridal trim from that vintage dress. And I want to make them removable so you can do what you want with the bag and do what you want with the embellishment. So I think I'm going to actually attach them with a, uh, a stick pin is probably how I'm going to do it. So I made some of these uh, singed flowers with the um, out of the dress material. So out of the satin, out of the lining, and out of the tulle. It all came from the dress. But most of them have this dangle, which came from Angel Dream Crafts. And it's this one. That's all I have left. So I need to get some more because I'm not done um, making the bag embellishments yet. But I want to try to do it. I made these kind of rectangular. I think I'm going to try to do some out of doilies. We'll see. But that's what's hanging there. This is the bridal um, snippets of the bridal gown in the background there. This beautiful, I love her leaf trims at Angel Dream Crafts. Do I have any more of that one? Yes, I do looks like this so I cut the individual leaves off to use and that is what is poking out right here on this one I um, use some of the double pleated polka dot tool in white it's so pretty this is the only one I use that on because I kind of am hoarding it because I love it so much but I do think it looks very lovely on there so um here is and that is a bling of course from angel dream crafts and i made this one with more of that dangle i used this leaf trim on this one which is this there's so many leaves and little flowers on this trim this trim keeps on giving in the back which I think you can see it better, is this beautiful trim that Kim had in her shop. And I don't think she has it anymore, but I adore it. And I used the last that I had on a few of these bag embellishments. And I tucked another little leaf down here because you could see still some of the felt on the front. And I wanted to make sure it was all covered. So I just took one of the little leaves off of this trim and popped it right there. And so there's more bridal trim and then another beautiful bling from Kim's shop and another flower that was made out of the wedding gown. And then, let's see, um, on this one I used that same beautiful trim. I used another one of those long leaves, another one of the heart bling, and I've decided to hang one of these beautiful charms from Kim's shop. I love these so much and I only had three left. Sad face. I need more of these, please. <laughs> so those are dangling off three of them. Not pretty. It's just pretty hanging in there in the dangles. I love it. Super, super cute. So those are the flowers I made on those. Now I did make that same time when I had time to craft. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> 
was so thankful. It might even have been after work one night. I don't know. I went ahead and made a couple more without the flower because I think I'm going to use some of the flowers from Angel Dream Crafts because they're amazing. So this is kind of um, a better view of the, the thing without the flower. So I wanted to show you this because she has, I'm assuming she still has this trim. I don't know, but I wanted to show you what I did with it. It's this trim right here, which is just beautiful. And I've had it in my stash for so long. I just cut this bottom piece off and that's what I used in the back of these because I ran out of that trim. So I thought, what could I use? So this is what I used. Love it. And so all the beaded and sequin bits are from the dress that I cut up. That's the same dangle from Kim's shop. And then here's the leaf. So those are ready. And there's what that leaf looks like. Isn't that pretty? So these are just ready for a flower and um, some bling. Of course, I'm going to make sure the felt gets covered up. So I had a couple more ready to go. And I think that's what I'm going to do with my time today is finish embellishing these. But I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I had so far. I just think they're so cute. I love them. I'd love to know what you think about them. Please leave me a comment. Don't forget to get, uh, leave me a thumbs up. And of course, there's a link below to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy so you can go get you some of the fun things to play with. And there's also a link to everybody else on the team. So make sure you go check them out. Their work is always inspiring and they make such fun, beautiful things. So I hope everyone's having a good day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.